Hey friends out there in YouTube land, Robert Ham with Robert Ham Photography here once again and I thought you might like a little behind the scenes. So I'm going to show you my office and tell you a little bit about what I've got going on. Uh, real quick video and I want you to see that as a homeschooling dad, this is what we're doing right now. We got Robert in the background. Say hello Robert. Hi. Show them what you got. I got spectacles. This is for uh, Doug. He asked me about Blinky. Um, can you come forward a little bit? He asked me about Blinky. And uh, this is one of our most recent projects right there. Now we've got the door closed. Uh, you can see Robert's little work area behind him over there. Um, and this is, uh, this, is kind of, this is kind of how we operate. So making Blinky say hi. We'll talk to you later, Robert. Bye now. Bye. So the idea really here was just to kind of give you a real quick example of what what kind of like the workspace looks like. And, and I do this because I get so caught up in the everyday try to make a video, think about what I'd like to do, update the website, get some products out, make a photo book, um, send an album out, send some emails, try to drum up some business. Like, what does it all look like? And it can get pretty hectic. So here's my behind the scenes for you. Um, Robert and I work together. We are an absolute team. You have to realize that. As a homeschooling dad, and uh, even though my wife works and, and everything else, as a homeschooling dad, um, you know, I've got him with me all the time. So if I couldn't work uh, and take care of him, then it just wouldn't work out. So photography, something I have a passion for, makes that easy. So being able to photograph someone's wedding, you know, I do most of my work on the weekend out of the office. The rest of the stuff I can do inside the office with my son. Right now we're going over all kinds of mathematics and that was at his desk right over there and it's um six o'clock at night and we're still uh reviewing from uh, just long division with remainders and conversions to decimals that's what we're working on right now for his math on history we're going back over the tokugawa shogunate which is really great period during the warring states period of uh japan i'm really excited about it I used to speak Japanese uh, quite a bit when I was in the army, and so um, you know, when I, I love I love the Japanese culture, I love I love all that stuff. So we eat sushi, we run around, we have a good time. In the background, you kind of see what we've got working on over here. I'm gonna move this once again. Try to be as steady as possible. So just right here. Normally, you'll see that that door is open. Follow my old karate students, and uh, which, you know I teach kids from six years all the way up to adults. Um, a lot of their thank you since they robbed stuff is on that right now. But my cat is going crazy, so he's fighting them off. So um, we close the door. But generally, Rob, why don't you go open that door so we can see all the little goodies over there real quick? Thanks. While he's doing that, um, you'll notice that yeah, there we go. So these this right here are all the happy things, and you can see some of the oriental decor in my living room uh, aside over there. Robert, you can go ahead and close that door now. Oh, there's Oreo. Say hi, Oreo. <laughs> I guess you can leave it all open. That's fine. Um, you'll notice right here, I just want to kind of look over at, at um, the setup. Right here, we've got a MacBook Pro with a retina display. Um, it's around a 2016 MacBook Pro, still absolutely uh, fast and wonderful. External monitor, both my Surface Pro 4 and my MacBook Pro are hooked up to it. I just navigate whichever one I need. A DNP DS80 is right here. And although you can't really see so much, I'm working on images for DVD covers right here uh, on, the D, on the Surface Pro 4, and I'm exporting DVDs over here. So there's, there's two different things going on. Um, and that's important because without two computers, my productivity is really quite stifled. I, I need two computers in order to be able to operate quickly. 90% of everything that I do is done on my MacBook, uh, excuse me, is done on my um, Surface Pro 4. The Surface Pro 4 makes things very, very easy for me. It's portable and it's almost as powerful as my MacBook Pro. Not, not quite, okay? And the MacBook Pro is a 2012 model, but it was top of the line when it came out and you know how Macs are anyways. But the Surface Pro 4 runs Lightroom and Photoshop and even Premiere Pro when I'm doing 1080p at 30 frames or does it absolutely wonderfully for me and my purposes. If you get into After Effects, you're going to start making some comps that are a little bit big. And if you're, if you're trying to edit 4K stuff, that's not going to work. And even if you head over to multiple streams at 1080p at 60, that could slow you down some in Premiere Pro. But as long as you don't mind working in one quarter resolution, uh, you can work in Premiere Pro at, uh, one, at 1080p at 60 pretty easily. I generally work at, uh, at Premiere Pro 
and um, I can usually just render everything out at full resolution in uh, 1080p at 30, sometimes half. It just depends. My, my, my projects get pretty big. But anyways, that's what I've got there. Of course, I have my um, handy-dandy cup of coffee. This is where usually the morning meeting takes place. And then behind me, you see all of the cameras and everything. So really, this is, this is where I keep some of my favorite work, gifts that are given to me, and up top, my military regalia from when I was a soldier. Um, and, and so it's just all right here. These are what I'm working on. It's my charging station. And also, I like looking at my cameras. I'm, I'm very proud of them. I enjoy looking at them. So I, uh, so I do precisely that. We're going to go ahead over here and actually move over. A lot of you may not even know. I'm going to try to angle this a little bit better for you. There's, there's even more guitars and ukuleles. Um, I'm not even going to get into all that. But as you look right here, Okay, we've got um, a couple of them. This is a beautiful Cordoba GK Studio right here guitar. Um, well, this is a Fender with a Fishman pickup, which is a real nice. It's got a um, spruce top and maple back and sides, rosewood back and sides. We've got a, um, a nice ukulele right here. I really, I really enjoy that, you know. If you guys know anything about me, you'll know that I play the ukulele and uh, the guitar. I make on the school of you, although I haven't had a lot of opportunity to do anything for it lately, um, I do make videos on how to play the ukulele over at School of Uke. And I have a Karate Rob channel for karate teaching Kempo and everything, but I have had so little time to actually update that. That it's um, kind of out there, but uh, you know. I love the flamenco music. Absolutely love the Spanish culture. Um, the sounds. I, I really like. <laughs> I'm, I like pretty much everything I can get my hands on and become a part of and start doing something. I really, really quite a bit enjoy. And I like being able to pass that over to my boy Roberto. In fact, um, we're trying to learn Spanish to speak together uh, as part of one of our languages extracurriculars. And uh, so anyways, it just thought I'd like to give you a nice little behind the scenes of what it looks like in Robert Hand Photography's office, my office, right here. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this little behind the scenes video. If you did, smash that like button. If you did not, and you didn't like it, hit that like button, down like button twice. Hit it two times, smash it once, and then smash it again. Let me really feel you didn't like it. Um, <laughs> it's a little joke, if you hit it twice. Uh, then it will erase your unlike. Anyways, I'm Robert Ham with RobertHamPhotography.com. You can catch me over on Twitter at Rob Ham Photo. I hope that you enjoyed this behind the scenes. And as always, keep shooting, my friends. Yeah. Yeah.